Hello and welcome and today the topic of discussion is in C programming we will understand union in C. So prior to this we have discussed what is structures and how the members of the structure are initialized, how they are accessed, what is uh, array of a structure. We have discussed all those things prior to this video and today we will discuss what is union in C. So let's understand union. So union are conceptually similar to structure. So like structure, union is, union is conceptually similar. The syntax to declare yeah, or define a union is also similar to that of structure. The syntax to declare structure, the syntax to declare union are exactly similar. Fine. You can only find a difference in keyword. For a structure, we use a struct. For union, we use him. Otherwise, everything is same. So what is the difference? The only difference is in term of storage. So the difference between structure and units is union is in term of storage what is that difference in a structure each member has its own storage location if I talk about structure then I told you the moment you create this variable I have already told you one memory block is created like this e and every member has its own its own memory fine but the only difference in term of storage in a structure, each member has its own storage location, whereas all member of union uses a single shared memory. Similarly, when you create a variable of a union, only one block is created, fine. And these X and Y both share the same memory space, fine, which is equal to the size of largest. And what is the size? Because if I talk about structure, the character size is one byte, floor size is four bytes, so total is five byte. But if I talk about union union take the size of largest so character is one byte union float is four bytes so what will be the size of this e it will be four bytes so it takes the largest size of a members fine largest size of a member fine okay so this is what the difference I wanted to tell you now see the example like if when you created this variable e you have a separate space for x and you have separate space of y and the total space which is occupied by e is five byte which I already told you and if I talk about e that is variable of union union variable x and y both share a same memory memory sharing and the size which is occupied by e that is variable of a union is 4 byte which is equal to the largest size of a member fine okay allocate the storage equal to the largest one the, this implies that although union may contain many members of different type it cannot handle all member at the same time so it shows that union cannot handle all the member at the same time while structure can handle all the member at same time while union cannot handle all the member at same time because you can initialize the structure variable like you can initialize something like this but you cannot do something like this why because it's only one space one at a time you can initialize the memory fine a union is declared using a keyword union fine so this is what structure this is what union is all about let's move further and see the example of union now the following c program in the following c program both x and y share the same location let's see what this program is talking about fine let's see what this program is talking about so we have created a union test having two variable x and y that is size of x is 4 byte y is 4 byte integer size is 4 byte and in function main we have created a variable of union t the moment you create a t i told you a block will be created but now this block will have only one size which is maximum so this is 4 byte which this is 4 byte so maximum of 4 is 4 so 4 byte blocks is created and both x and y will share the same memory location now t dot that is dot is through which we access the variable of th member of a union so t dot x is equal to 2 that is t dot x t dot x will have a value 2 now when you try to so when t dot x is 2 so t dot y also get the value 2 because they both are representing the same space so if you somebody ask you what is there in x you say there is 2 if somebody ask you what is there in y there is 2 so what do you do when you print the value of x when you print the value of y using t dot x and t dot y you get answer 2 and 2 so you get answer 2 and 2 now what you're doing you are updating value of y t dot y what is t dot y this is t dot x and this is t dot y now you are changing this value from 2 to 10 so this value will become 10 so the final value of this is 10 now what you are doing is that you are printing again value of x value of y through t dot x through t dot y now t x is 10 it will give you 10 and t dot y is also 10 it will give you 10 so hope you have understood what union is all about fine okay so now let's see the size of 
size of size of means size of a variable of a union as i told you union take the size of maximum maximum uh, member so let's see here you have two member both of integer here we have created one union named by the name of test one and the variable is t1 and having two member both are integer type at four and four so maximum is what four so this will have a four we'll see uh later again we have created another union by the name of test two this has two variable one is of integer type one is of character type character takes one byte so maximum out of both of them is four so this is four and the variable of union test two is two, t2 and we have again created a variable uh, we have again created a union by the name of test t3 having two member one array of integer having size 10 one digit integer take 10 four bytes so 10 integer will take 40 bytes so 40 character will take one byte so maximum of both is 40 fine and the variable of test t test 3 is t3 now inside printf you are printing size of test 1 size of test 2 size of test 3 and in percentage d you are printing this size of what is size of size of is an operator which gives you size of a data type or a variable what is variable t1 and t1 is representing representing test 1 so test 1 the maximum size of test 1 will be 4 so see that you are getting size of test 1 is 4 size of t2 what is t2 t2 is representing test 2 the maximum size is 4 see again you are getting output as a 4 and what is size of t3 t3 is representing test 3 and the maximum size is 40 and you are getting answer 40 hope you understand that union takes size of member which is maximum among all the members